Hello and welcome to the first episode from my e-commerce growth course. I'm Valentin Radu and now we're going to chat a bit about the math behind growth of an e-commerce website. First of all, this industry is getting crazy, so it's about to double till 2020. There are a lot of tactics, tools, strategies and a lot of know-how around this e-commerce, but behind the noise there is the signal, there are the insights. So let's focus first on the basics of an e-commerce. So what an e-commerce really is? So it connects the people with the product, but it's using the online channel. So that's why having an e-commerce website is not like selling something. It's, like more, or, it's more like a digital business than it's a classic bricks and mortar uh, store. So we need to take into account the underlying facts and triggers and uh, insights which are generating growth. So before starting to grow, before focusing on the silver bullet which is gonna turn us into the next Amazon, let's focus on the real KPIs which are delivering growth. So what KPIs you should focus on, what you should measure, what you should amplify in order to grow an e-commerce. First is the traffic. Without the traffic, you don't have any e-commerce. Second is the conversion rate because having, a, having the traffic but not converting it into uh, customers, that still means nothing. Third is the net promoter score. This is a very important metric which is mainly sounding like this. Which are the chances from 0 to 10 to recommend us to a colleague or relative or friend? So that means the satisfaction, but also the amplification, the willingness to amplify our business from our current customers. If we don't convince our customers to promote us and to make our website become more visible, then we, don't have, we will not have a business anymore. We will just have one hit wonders. Then is the customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value is very important because it takes into account the customer acquisition cost, it takes into account the retention rate, it takes into account your profit margin, your discount, the inflation rate, everything. So mainly that lifetime value means how much are you keeping in your pocket after you are paying everything from a customer and not measuring this means you are focused on orders instead of fo being focused on customers and you need to decide you are focusing on traffic you are focusing on orders or you are focusing on customers because becoming a customer centric means uh, declaring that you want to be profitable then you have the retention rate retention rate means how many customers are making the second, the third, and the fourth purchase? So placing the first order is the first step on building a relation with you. But you are having thousands of relations with thousands of people in the digital space, but only few of them are becoming your customers. And if you don't make them come again, and if you don't install the good habit of buying again from your uh, company, that means you're not going to get money in the future. And we're going to talk about this in the next episodes about the retention rate and how this is uh, connected with your growth. Then is the customer acquisition cost. If you have a strategy which is purely based on paid media, then you ha don't have a strategy. You have a, instead of having a marketing strategy, strategy, you have a spending strategy, which is not okay. So you should monitor how much are you paying for a customer and you should take into account the balance between customer acquisition cost and lifetime value because, because there's a, a rule of thumb about how much you should pay and how much you should get from a single customer. And last but not the least is the average order value because if you are paying a lot of money on the delivery, fulfillment, everything, then you should know where your profit margin is okay. So that, that's why you should keep an eye on the average order value because if you convince a customer to buy two, three, four items, uh, you are paying the delivery 
uh, only once and the processing and everything is only once so that's why you need to take into account the average order value and of course quantities per, per each transaction so these are the KPIs but how are all of these connected and what is the mathematical model of your growth we're gonna see that in the next episode